Good morning lovelies. Today you're getting a very raw vlog. A day in the life of us here on lockdown on the farm. I've got Toby here. He is now a year old which is just crazy. And Ruka as well. Hi Ru. Ru is now three. And yeah it's uh, May as I'm recording this and we're going to go outside and we're going to go for a little walk. Um, so I'm one handedly pushing the pram and just go through our orchard. You can see now the apple trees are coming out in blossom, which is really exciting. I have stolen a little bit of blossom for some of my cakes, I have to admit. Um, I try not to take too much of the apple blossom, but it's just so pretty. It actually is edible and you can use it as a decoration on cakes and that kind of thing. So um, yes, I couldn't resist. And you also mulched the bottom of the apple trees, you can see there with some hessian and some manure to give them a bit of a feed. And now we're down at the tunnels. And as you can see, like I am seriously wrapped up today and so are the boys because the weather has really turned cold, cold, cold. So it's kind of been a little bit annoying because we were going to plant out loads of peas and things. We had to press pause on that. Um, and all the plants that were overwintering, uh, not overwintering, but um, hardening off outside, we've had to bring back in. Um, but yeah, apart from that, Things are looking pretty good. Um, I've been sowing lots of seeds as usual. Um, our salad crops on this side are all looking pretty good. I've been harvesting the radishes, they're all gone, and my second lot have been sown out. Um, I've been harvesting the salads for our customers, which is really fun. Let's bring onions out now as well, in this patch here. And yes, a few more of these like seedling trays to go, to go outside. Purple sprouting broccoli cauliflowers, fennels just come up and I also have a tray of flowers which I'm very very excited for. I've got cornflower, actually, I've got cornflowers, I've got cosmos, I've got tajet and I have got marigolds and um, nasturtiums planted out now. These are all are stunning kale i'm really particularly excited about these all different varieties as you can see so really really excited for those and like i said the purple sprouting broccoli is here and it's come up really quickly so that's also exciting i'm going to plant a lot of that this year board beans are coming up the peas are looking all right this is where the chard was it's all gone and at the top is board beans and there's that side so i'm going to go get these kids so they're not sitting on their own outside and I'm going to turn on the hose do a little bit of watering and then I'm going to go and bring you up and show you the pigs because they are very cute <laughs> so everything's watered now and we are all heading up to have a look at the pigs feed them and we'll also plant out some peas. Uh, Charlie came down the tractor to collect everything, which was really handy. Oh, I know. That's a big pig. That is a big pig. So we are now up moving some cows. Got donkeys, they're going to some new grass. Here, the boys are in the buggy. And the cows are very reluctant to move. Patience. <laughs> so I thought I'd update you a little bit on what we did for Toby's birthday. Happy birthday to so Toby turned one year old um, a couple of days ago on the 10th of May and I sort of repeated a lot of the rituals and rhythms that we had done for Rupert's third birthday. 
and one of those was making a birthday crown. I felted him a little yellow birthday crown with one written on it, which is really cute. Um, I also cut out paper stars and I created a trail from his bedroom all the way to the kitchen where we had our birthday breakfast set up. And that was so popular. He was really interested in it and Rupert is obsessed with the birthday stars. He really understands them and he just loves collecting them and going star, star. So I highly recommend that if you've got young children, the birthday star trail is a really nice, fun, cute idea. So changed up the Grimm celebration ring with some figures that suited his personality. So I put in a cat because he loves cats. I put in a flower and I also put in, it was a star. Um, so it's just like things, usually I will buy different little Grimm's figures depending on the birthday. So for Rupert, I think I had like a cow and a, um, a rabbit and there was something else, I can't quite remember. But I sort of pick out things that have been interesting for them for the last year. And then I also go through some of the photographs from the last year and pick out one or two so they can see the pictures and sort of like reference back. So I did that for both of their birthdays and I repeated that with Toby this year. Kept it really simple. Um, I baked a little yogurt cake, really easy recipe, really quick. And that went down a treat, he loved that. He doesn't usually get any sugar, so that was like mind boggling for him. Um, and yeah, it was really cute. We got him some really lovely toys this year and I'll show you that in the video later on today. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my tea and enjoy the peace and quiet while it lasts. Hi everybody, so it is the next day and I'm down at the poly tunnels, not the poly tunnels, I'm down at the veg fields. You can see all our fleeced up, um, patch, fleeced up, I can't talk today, fleeced up rows of veg and I've been picking pak choy, salad and some radishes and it's all looking really good actually, we've had a bit of rain the last few days so it's finally growing a lot better. Um, we've got the kiddies here in the pram um, and yeah I've got a huge bag of of veg for our customers which is just perched on the pram there <laughs> and I have more to pick for tomorrow as well tomorrow's farm shop day and we're doing a click and collect service so um, yeah it's good to get some of that harvested and I got myself a little sneaky salad as well so excited for that for lunch so yes I'm about to bring the boys back but I thought I'd just quickly show you this is what we've got planted so far um, over there is all the potatoes, got some broad beans and peas which got quite dried out and then these are all mixes of things like pet choy, turnips, beetroot, carrots, um, cabbages, broccoli, oh I'm cauliflower, lots of things so leeks are going in as well and um, this week so yeah busy busy with planting and growing at the moment. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here just in case um, I don't finish it properly because I never seem to finish my videos properly. So I'm gonna finish up here and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you support me on Patreon if you can. It makes a huge difference to me in this channel. And um, thank you so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye everyone.